The speaker to start us off is Tom Y, presenting FISEL.AI, a citizen science-based approach to aggregating images of fish and providing an online solution with open source and open access to users globally. Welcome to the FISEL.AI presentation on how we are enabling facial recognition. Meet our team, Tom and Jane Y, founders of the Y Foundation and main supporters of the FISEL.AI project. They're also the creators of the mobile sport fishing platform, Fish Angler. The biologist, Christina Activato Braswell, Kimberly Denishaw, Santiago Tricotti, and Guy Aro. Our marketing department, Dario Stowski and Joy Flexer. Our current partnerships are with the Y Foundation and FishAngler.com. This project was originally slated to be part of Fish Angler. However, Tom and Jane Y found it would be more beneficial to the science community if this was offered as an open source tool. The Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation, Microsoft, CodeAhead, and Conservation X Lab. Our mission, our goal is to accelerate the research and development of a highly accurate fish identification technology using AI to recognize all fish species worldwide. Our vision is to act as a central hub for the combination of various fish image data sets into a single open source AI ML ready labeled fish image data set that will contribute to the creation of facial recognition. Our goal is to provide a specialized web portal for the collection and ML tagging of fish images, to publish the world's largest labeled fish image database for AI ML for commercial and non-commercial use and to seek the development of a highly accurate AI model that can identify fish species worldwide. We are accomplishing our mission through two main actions. Our open source labeled fish image database that will be a tool for others to build AI technology as well. And a citizen science portal that will be a web-based portal that allows users to upload tag images with fish species names and tag polygons. Our open source labeled fish image database came about because we noticed a limited number of labeled fish images available as open source when we began our journey. So we set out to create the world's largest. We knew that it would require a few things. It would require images from all over the world. It will require the development of a specialized website for photo repository and it will require the ability to allow copyright data to be set for images submitted to the database. Lim including, but not limited to, internal use only and not for open source data or open source friendly. Our citizen science portal would be, is going to be the way we build our image database. It allows for individuals or teams to register an account. You can upload fish images easily through drag and drop, a computer upload, or a CSV file upload. It has a specialized ML editor that allows for polygons to be set around each fish in the image, as well as each trait for each fish in the image and labeling polygons with fish species. The citizen science portal also allows for specialized data collection for each image including GPS location, fish species within the image, and metadata. It has the ability for complete copyright data customization for each image, or you can set it for a group of images. The team setting allows for the team to review images before submission to the model. And our QA system allows for the biologist to verify image prior to final submission to the model. We have a few hurdles to success image acquisition for lesser known fish and non-game fish, copyright and open source access to images. Scraping images from social media could be very beneficial. However, it's usually against their copyright. A way around this would be very useful. Images that can be freely used for commercial and non-commercial use. We're limited to manpower to label each image for fish identification and manpower to QA images before submission into the model. We can only do as many as the number of biologists we have. 
And our last hurdle to success is gaining momentum within the citizen science portal. How you can help us. We need help gaining traction within fisheries, research teams, and NGOs in terms of getting them involved and sharing their image databases with us in the citizen science portal. You can assist us in labeling the unlabeled fish images and or QAing images that have been submitted to the model. And funding to help contribute to this effort would go to coding and web development, building our QA team, and building the fish image labeling team. Thank you for watching this, watching this presentation on official.ai and how we are enabling official recognition. If you would like to learn more about our project, we encourage you to vis visit official.ai. If you'd like to email us with questions, please feel free to reach us at support at official.ai. Thank you, Fischl AI for sharing. And Tom, Tom, if you're there, we've got a question for you, or a few questions. We normally just hand the questions around the group here, and we also reach into the Q&A box if we can find one there that that's you know the right type of question. So please feel feel free to hand them in there. Um, could a research or a research team use your online labeling tools for their project? Is there any cost, and how easy is it for them after they've done the work to retrieve their images from your system? Uh, yes. Uh, so currently, if you go to portal.official.ai, sign up for an account, uh, basically you can upload and also once you've tagged your uh, images, we are using AI to automatically put bounding boxes around fish images that are uploaded. The um, the actual use of the account is free um, and you are able to download your images. So we do um, wish for everybody to submit them to the uh, overall common data set so um, they can upload, edit, and then um, submit them to the official collection that we're calling it. And then uh, they can also download their own data set. I've got a quick follow up before I hand over to Matt. I noticed in your presentation you said you're interested in building a data set or you know image sets for all fish. Do you at least try to channel people to give sets under different groupings, or is it the case that you're really collecting everything that you can get hold of? Yeah, was that to Matt or to Tom? Uh, sorry, Tom, this is to you. I just wondered if you've got any special um, angles such as commercial fish or recreational fishing or so, ornamental fish or how does it work to encourage yep. people to maybe batch certain groups of fish? Yep. So we've uh, created a rich set of metadata that can be attached to the images as they're uploaded. Uh, so we have specialized um, tags to specify if it's like an x-ray of a fish, if it's a fossil, if it's underwater or above water. The, we have segmentation between the different types of data that you upload. Okay, Matt, have you got a question for Tom? Yeah, so, so can you can you batch upload large sets of photos? Uh, yes, you can. We have a, a CSV upload capability that um, allows you to upload about 10,000 images uh, per batch. And uh, if I could just also introduce you to Anton Ellenbrook for our knowledge, information and knowledge management section in FAO's fisheries division. Um, Anton, if you've got any question that might be relevant to Tom's initiative, which is trying to use citizens to upload imagery, I'm sure you've seen this done elsewhere. Yes, it's, uh, but thanks for the presentation first. And so my question would be now um, in the terms of the metadata management and metadata schemas, do you see a international development taking routes where people are able to share through their metadata access to their data and also manage control and segment the data collections, image collection. So we're, we're not using a standard per se on the export. Uh, you can export your data in a Cocoa um, file, but um, we're not built in with an interface to other platforms at this time. Okay. All right. Well, That's already for, a great collection. Yes. Thanks very much. Glad we could get you on. You look like you're sitting on a nice boat there rather than a <laughs> boat. Congratulations to you. Thank you very much for the invite to the conference today. You're very welcome, Tom.